commitment in 2014 and our pledge to continue to bring you the side of candidates you don't typically see. Tonight, News Center 5's Emily Reamer sits down with Democratic candidate for Governor Martha Coakley and discovers the role a TV show played in guiding her career. But I had been very interested in being a lawyer, and I watched a lot of Perry Mason as a kid. I loved the drama. I loved the stories that were told. And I loved the idea that, you know, trying cases was about fairness. And I thought, that's something I want to do. I want to stand up. I want to advocate. I want to speak for people. And that's what Martha Coakley says she's done throughout her career. She started as an assistant district attorney in 1986, then was elected Middlesex County DA. She's now attorney general. On the campaign trail, she talks about her work on foreclosure assistance and child abuse cases over the years. And she's also opened up about her personal life, sharing her brother Edward's struggle with depression. He ultimately committed suicide at 33. Every time I talked about it, two or three people would come up afterwards or email me later and said that was my brother. It is hard to do, but I think that because I know it helps so many people that I do it, um, it's worth doing. Her husband Tom and their two Labradors, Jackson and Jefferson, also make it a bit easier. Going for walks is one way they can all unwind. The couple met during Coakley's DA campaign in 1999 and got married on Martha's Vineyard the next year. Tom joins her at most campaign events. They say they see each other more now than before she was running. She's called him her toughest critic, but that's a good thing. I'm not afraid to um, say, you know, I think that was good or not so good, and, yeah, but um, I know. Why do you value that about him? Because I know he's honest about it. And I know that he always has my best interest in heart, but he's never going to say something to make me feel good or to flatter me. He's going to tell me the truth. And that honesty extends to the kitchen, where Coakley says she loves to cook when she has the time. Tom is a willing test subject. Don't We're successful most of the time, but he's not. There are a few complaints. <laughs> but he's not afraid to tell me if he doesn't like it. Those homemade meals are taking a backseat to campaigning for now, but Coakley doesn't mind too much. That's what gets me energized is seeing that people in Massachusetts are very resilient. You know, we care about each other. I'm Emily Reamer, WCVB News Center 5.